Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Automaton. <laughs> We're back. So, uh, yeah. Um, I've basically just been down doing a little bit of mining like I said I would after the first episode. I haven't really tried to do, you know, nothing too crazy that maybe you guys might want to see or, uh, you know, would miss on uh, camera or anything. So I just went down and did a little bit of mining, cleaned up the place a little bit, got rid of those trees. Um, I went ahead and made a bed by shearing some sheep. So we're good on the bed part. Um, here's all of the ores that we've gotten so far. And my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, all that redstone, all this iron. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. So I think what the plan is going to be is we want to follow the book a little bit. Now, unfortunately, I need some more some more room. Now, <laughs> here's the dealio. Um, I think we are going to need to make a little bit more iron. So let's go ahead and cook a tiny bit more up. Went, made, uh, went ahead and made a... Um, good stack of stone as well because I think we might be getting into some of that very soon so let's go ahead and jump over and start doing some of these quests I've noticed that when doing these like quest book or quest line packs it's more beneficial to just kind of wait to do things and, and just try to you know complete your quests so that's what we're gonna go ahead and try to work on doing real quick now, first things first, let's go ahead and make another chest, because we are going to need another piece of iron. And I believe it just wants me to make an iron chest, so to do that, we just surround a chest with iron. I mean, it's not that hard. Hello? Um, it didn't ding, ding on me. <laughs> so it just kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do these. Yeah, or one iron to gold. Eh. Wait, hold on. Are we not done? Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. Did I get it? Ah, there we go. <laughs> it seems just a little strange sometimes. I don't know what it is, but oh yeah, we get and we get the bookshelf for free. So there we go. We got that. We got a free upgrade on that. Secondary chest on that. So, we're looking pretty good. Now, what is this? This is a very interesting new looking bookshelf I've never seen before. From a mod called Inspirations, according to the Top Center, which is, I believe, either Wayla or One Probe. Might be One Probe. Because we do. Yeah, we do have One Probe. Could be One Probe. Anywho, this is interesting. Can we. Put anything on here? No. Okay. So it's just books. Okay. Is what it is. Uh, I think I do have some things that would fit on there. Oh, that's really cool. Is it gonna seriously match the color? Oh, this one doesn't work on there. Oh, sad face, man. Sad face. Oh, we got one book on there. It's it's all cool. <laughs> all right. So we got that completed. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's next. Um, see, this is what I'm saying, like this, I was gonna go ahead and make the stone so we could go ahead and make that crafting table, but look at that, see it's having us do that a little bit later on and you have to craft it, because it is a crafting task, so yeah. Um, basic drawer, does it matter? The one it's showing kind of makes me wonder, you know what I mean? Sometimes they're they're set up in such a way to where they just kind of send them in the, the quest book and they're like, well, here you go, I got you, this is what you need to do, but then you get to it and then it's like, well, you didn't quite craft the right one and you're just kind of sitting there second guessing yourself. See, it looks like it's changing throughout a couple different kinds, so I'm assuming we can just make some regular basic... Um, some basic drawers, you know. So yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. So now we need to do storage upgrade. Let's click on. Uh, I guess we get both of them. Pretty sweet. Nice. I'm okay with this. Definitely want this for my cobblestone because we're probably gonna be getting a butt ton of cobblestone. You can actually go ahead and put both of those on there as well. If you shift right click with an empty hand, you can actually remove the upgrades as well. So. Little tip. So if you if you don't really want to store them and you and you know you're not going to be getting that much uh, those upgrades, you can just kind of put them away for now and grab them again some other time. All right. So that's completed. 
See, we're, we're moving, scooting right along. Oh, and look what we're getting down to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if those are that great. But I, 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 I think they're all right. So anyways, we need to make a workshop table and a blink upgrade. And this time, we get some loot chests, man. Oh, that's going to be nice. Can't wait till we get some lows. I love me some loot chests. I love loot bags. I love loot chests. I like lucky blocks. I love all the blocks and the cubes. All the things, you know. They're, they're, they're pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. All right, so what do we need for the table? I kind of don't remember. Okay, so we need one and then a little bit of cobblestone. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And let's make one more of these because we need two. And then three of you and five of you. And there we go. So these guys are really awesome. I'm not going to lie. These things are pretty sweet. And let's go ahead and grab number one. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. <laughs> All right, so what do we get? Speed upgrade, increase the speed, fuel consumption, and efficiency upgrade. I wonder what that's for. What, what mod is this for? Hello? Oh, for furnace. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate, because I was kind of going to put that, like, my furnace stuff in here, because, you know... I like these for the, the furnaces. So what you do is you basically go ahead and uh, click on the upgrade portion. You can put yourself a furnace or a crafting table in here. And then once you open this back up, you can see we have a uh, furnace set up on the right side here. And you got a fuel gauge. If you put some fuel down there, it'll go ahead and start filling that up. And then uh, you can basically go through and start cooking things. Um, and it will cook pretty quickly, I must say. Now, I don't think I have anything I really want to just toss in to cook at the moment I mean I might go ahead and do like a little bit of this just for later and we can split those up between those two and it's working but the for some reason the arrows are not working so that is strange yeah that's a little weird I'm not gonna lie all right so we'll go ahead and put a crafting table on this side and Let's go do this and put a crafting table on this side. So we'll have dual crafting tables and dual furnaces. One of my favorite setups inside of these nice little uh, workshop tables. I do like that little portion of that. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and make a furnace. And this one also as well gives you some upgrades, which we just literally got. So let's see what a furnace actually entails. I don't think I'm actually... Uh, what do you know? Guess what? <laughs> It's almost like I knew or something. I really didn't. I just got really lucky. <laughs> wow, man. I actually like the way these bricks look in this resource pack. They're nice, bright, and vibrant. Very beautiful. All right, so we need a little bit of coal. Well, we need a couple pieces of you. Um, did I put that iron away? I don't think I did. I think I used it all, didn't I? How much do I need? Two? Two in a furnace. Oh, <laughs> ooh, ah, ah. and I do believe we can actually. Oh, you can't. Well, that's kind of crappy. You can't actually use the. Uh, let me double check. Make sure. Yeah, there's no plus over. So that's the downside of those. But you can also store recipes inside of these as well. You can actually make more upgrades and. It just kind of gets a little bit better as you kind of go on with it, but um, let's take a look at this guy first. We got this little furnace, speed of one times, fuel consumption of one times, XP of one times. So, oh crap. Oh, okay, good. It already took time. Ooh, 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 a choice reward. So we got a speed upgrade, efficiency upgrade, or an IO upgrade. I'm assuming input output upgrade, which actually would be very nice considering we have both of the others. Um, so we'll take an input output upgrade an automatic input and automatic output very nice so we can just go ahead and do that wow look at that look at that all right let's get ourselves a little bit more coal now here's the thing you know we spent all this time trying to find some coal in that first episode and my gosh it took us a while 
So I am not really big on trying to use too much of this. I should be probably going ahead and getting some trees placed back down on the ground and maybe cooking some of this into just like, you know, some charcoal. Now, here's what I'm thinking. You know what, let's do this. Let's actually do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do another chest. We're gonna place said chest down a dare. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and upgrade this. I don't need to, but I'm gonna need to. And output, fuel, output. Oh, nice, enabled. Hello? Hello? Auto. Oh, there we go. Didn't know there was an auto function, so that's going to automatically push it. We can also have it to where it automatically pulls in as well, so that's pretty neat. I like these guys. These are pretty neat little little doomakies. And then pulvising, pulvisizing your oars. Wow. Just wow. All right, let's go ahead and place a few more of these trees down. Um... I think for now I'm just gonna probably just do this because you know we have ore excavation will pretty much make this a lot easier to just knock down once they're all grown and oak trees they just grow you know sometimes it'll take a little while but they just grow so let's just let them do their thing you know I mean why not let's go ahead and take a look at this next part because we do need to get to this um, and we'll probably start working on getting a farm up and running at some point very soon as well but I kind of like how this, uh, oh, nice, look at that, we can even start working on this probably, yeah, after we get done with that. This is a pretty nice little progression, we'll say. We'll, we'll call it progression, because it's basically what it is. I do like it, it is very, very nice. We need a pulvis. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we, we need a pulvis, chat. <laughs> I feel like I'm streaming right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, man. I can't help it. So, yeah, guys, if you didn't know, I stream pretty much just about every single day on Twitch.tv. In the evening, follow me on the Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. You guys will be notified when I go live. I usually go live around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single night on Twitch. Usually we'll be playing either some Minecraft or lately I've been playing some Skyrim. We actually finished up playing some Final Fantasy X, a full run through of uh, Final Fantasy X, not like a uh, hundred percenting or nothing. Um, I was going to, but then I was like, oh my gosh, the grind is real. So I decided to kind of pull away from that a little bit. I thought I picked up some gravel. Am I just missing it? I mean, I did. I don't really want to do this. Oh, there's one. Uh oh, we're getting someplace. I did make a shovel as well. I totally forgot I ma actually made a shovel. Started clearing out a little bit of uh, like stuff back behind here to pick up some sand and stuff like that. So that's the reason why we have all that. Come on, give me that. Come on. Ah, there we go. Whew. All right, so we got that. We got the iron. We got, and we need sandstone. So very nice that we actually have what we need. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the sand. Let's go ahead and turn that into some sandstone. I don't think it might, or matters which one's what. So there we go. We got a pulvus. I'm actually going to grab another IO upgrade because I think that is just going to be pretty awesome for, like, automatically getting stuff done so we can basically pull this into our furnace <laughs> and get some automation going early on <laughs> I don't know why it's funny I'm a child apparently I can't help it <laughs> oh my gosh let's go ahead and split these up We'll give uh, a little bit of you to a little bit of them, and we should be good to go to the nether that you want me to say. What is this? The multi-tool mining. Ooh, and a weirding gadget. That's what that is. I know what that is. Hopper upgrades. Ooh. 
So you want me to make an Iron Paxel, and you're going to give me either another Iron Paxel or a Lapis Lazuli sword. I don't know if that's really that amazing, to be honest with you. Tin Obsidian. Didn't I grab some Obsidian? I don't think I did, actually. Alright, so we do have some diamonds. I think it is time to make that upgrade. That jump. We can actually go get some of that real quick. And the nice thing about this is getting obsidian is going to be perfect early on. It's something we really, really want to do. So I know I didn't say I was going to be coming down here too much, but actually, let me go back up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to get a bucket real quick. In case we don't come across any good stuff, we, uh, we want to make sure we do that and get a bucket. I think we actually have a bucket. I think. I thought. I thunk. We don't have a bucket. Well, that's wonderful. Well, we have plenty of iron. I mean, that's always great. Let's actually just... You know what? Just, just give me all of that iron. And let's just cook up this iron. I, I don't think it matters right now. I know we have, like, the pulvis and everything. And everyone's going to be getting all upset with me, you know. But you know what? You're actually right. <laughs> We probably should just toss it right inside of our pulvis and let our pulvis take care of it, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be slow and steady. It should win the race. Alright, so let's output auto on the bottom. That's going to send it into our furnace where it's going to start cooking our iron dust that it doubles into iron. And it's going to automatically export it into our chest here. Very nice stuff, right? So we're just going to go ahead and do that, put the charcoal in there for now, let our trees start growing, and we're on our way. You know, we're well on our way. Seems like we have the thing that makes us go down a lot faster, but going up is a little bit of annoying. So that's just kind of sucky, but it is what it is. Oh my gosh, I didn't even make a bucket. But this is why you always bring wood with you. It's always good to have a nice little bit of wood with you. Now I gotta find it. Yeah, and see, that's the other thing. We don't really need a sword. We got this Osmium sword that's still got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of life left in it. So we don't have to worry about that too much. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this. All right, so we got water there. We can actually grab that. And I know, that, like, the first thing we saw probably was, like, the lava. But it was like, no, that's not what we're looking for. What we want is a bucket of water real quick, and this actually heads out to this ocean, which we just need to grab that. Crap. 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 I don't have armor made. I should have made some armor. All right, so now I know where he's at. Now you're taken care of, buddy. <laughs> Booyah. So I just gotta be very careful in this this place. Yeah, I hear you, friend. I hear you. Ah! No! No! Ah! Ah, this is why you want buckets of water. This is why you want buckets of water. Holy crap! Holy crap holes! We need to make some armor! <laughs> and now I need some food! Ah! Oh. Oh, I get your heart racing a little bit, you know. When you try to just take those chances, you just don't. It don't. It just. Yeah, you just. You just don't even let it bother you no more, you know. You just take those chances. You just go for it. You just do it, you know. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start mining this obsidian up. We're gonna hold our tilde key down for ore excavation mode, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, plenty. Now we're actually gonna want a good, decent chunk of obsidian, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going with the obsidian real quick, just for another quick second. Because we can actually use the obsidian, I think we can actually make obsidian tools. Not necessarily the ones for mechanism, but maybe there's another mod that has, or adds it in. I think, don't we have cyclic? I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Well, let's go ahead and grab some of these diamonds. I mean, why not? A couple extra diamonds isn't hurt nothing, right? And can you go away? That would be great. Yeah, there we go. Just grab these diamonds while I'm here. 
See, 11 diamonds. I mean, we can totally make some armor. Um, I don't know if I'm going to probably... Yeah, I should be able to make the wub wub ore. There's a wub gym. What is, what is this for? It makes wub wub juice bucket. What are we doing? What is this? What is this? Wub hammer? Mine's a three by three. <gasps> I don't know. I'm, I might like that. I, I, I don't... Oh my gosh, look at all this. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but jeez. Oh, it looks so good. There's so much stuff. I like it so much. Oh, I could just go all day in here. Which I probably will very soon. I'm not going to lie. I'll probably be spending some time down here. And uh, we're going to be doing some mining. I'm going to grab some stuff now that we got a, a diamond pickaxe. I'll probably try to grab some more obsidian. But let's go ahead and take a look at something real quick. Obsidian. So if we see here, we can actually make the ones from Mechanism Tools. Um, Tiny Progressions has the... You can make an obsidian shovel, so I'm assuming... I think that's pretty good. It also has the obsidian pickaxe, which I think... Yeah, you can make the tiny progressions axle, I think. It doesn't look like they disabled it, but... I don't know, like, how good that is for, like, durability or anything. So we'll take a look at that very soon. We might even go make one real quick. I want to say the one from Mechanism might be a little bit better. I think it also has a lot better enchantability than probably this one does. Because most of the time, every time I've ever had an Obsidian Paxel from Mechanism and enchanted it, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I've always gotten like um, Fortune 3, Efficiency 5, you know, just some crazy stuff, just like we're about to run into up here. We're gonna run into some crazy stuff, because it's nighttime, and that is not gonna be good for us. So, hoping for the best here. Let's get that sword out. We need to get some, um, we really need to get some armor made, maybe. Oh, I don't see anything up here. Oh, oh, oh. Did we luck out? I think we might have lucked out a little bit. How we doing? Oh my gosh, look at that, man. That thing actually works pretty dang good. There you go, you can have some more, my friend. Jeez. All right, let's go ahead and grab that flint and steel. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Whoa! Magma chest plate? Wait, what? Hold on. If you don't know what it is, sometimes when wearing full suit, when wearing full suit, fire resistance and resistance, sometimes it's good to like take a look and see what everything is. Now, that's cool and all. That's 10 armor and 5. Let's take a look at the obsidian armor. That's 8 and 3. And you're going to. This is where looking it up is always a better idea. Now, I'm going to just throw this out there. I know I don't look the best. All right? <laughs> but it's some good armor, apparently-ish. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We got that all nice and complete to Uh I don't know if that's actually a word. But let's go ahead and make this iron paxel just to kind of make it and get it out of the way. Right? So, I do believe we're going to need some sticks, which I don't think I have any actual sticks like made at the moment so let's just go ahead and do that I'm just gonna switch over to this table I don't know what it is I've kind of been a little off about using that I used to love using these like workshop tables but lately when I've been using them in packs it just seems kind of iffy I don't know you know I just kind of don't know there we go. Iron Paxel. Now, these are not amazing. As you can see, it says HP. That's like your durability. 250. Not the best in the world. Not going to lie. But what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and do this. And I guess it gives you both of them. Yeah. Six damage. Mine does eight. Thanks, though. <laughs> I feel like a butthole. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and put some of our other stuff away that we don't need at the moment. But we have this. I think we're going to go ahead and maybe make that other Paxel real quick. I know we probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Ooh. 
Chiseled Town. Oh my gosh, and it gives you the diamond ones for just completing it? Dude, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Now, I think there's our regular, and then there's our other iron. Oh, and we have the, the mod that also pulls it out instead of throws it out of the world. Like, when it's in your crafting square, it pulls it into your inventory. Unless that's just a vanilla thing now. I don't think it is, but... Detect. Oh, we got to pick one. Well, I'm definitely going to be picking the diamond actual chisel. That's that's my awesomeness right there. That that's my That's my buddy. I love that guy. So we're going to pick him over the other one because I have a feeling I know we're going to be a lot better off with that one. So we're just going to go ahead and clean up our inventory a little bit. Kind of uh, get rid of some stuff. It's been looking kind of raunchy a little bit. But oh my goodness. This is working out very well. I'm very, very pleased with this. In the meantime, let's go ahead and check out this Paxel. Shall we? Oh my gosh. And there's an obsidian battle axe. Even the obsidian sword is even better. I mean, actually it's not... 100% better. It's pretty much the same as my Osmium sword. But, yeah, I mean, it's literally just... It's so easy to make. And Tiny Progressions is kind of nice for that. Now, the... These require the refined obsidian ingots. And these, we're going to need the Osmium compressor. Um, we're also going to need, I think, the... Metallurgic... Yeah, Metallurgic infuser is pretty much the only two things I think we need. But if we're going to go for that... I would definitely just go ahead and say, let's go for this dude right here. The Atomic Disassembler. This is amazing. We're probably going to wind up getting next. It's an all-in-one, I'm an awesomeness tool that just literally will one-shot just about anything that gets in front of it. And it's wonderful. It's just like the best. So, all right, let's go take a look at these real quick. Because I think it just wanted to introduce us to the world of Paxel. You know what I mean? So, we're going to do a favor for them and just say, here we go, there's this. Now, we got an Obsidian Paxel here that does a lot more damage than our actual weapon. And, it will mine through literally anything. And we can use it to paint mine still. So, that's a very nice thing. It's uh, probably going to be doing us really well. Durability, I believe, I gotta remember how to pull that up. So you can see why we got so much obsidian. Uh, was probably a really good idea, to be honest with you. Was it F3H? Advanced tool tips shown. There you go. So there's your durability. F3H at the same time will show your, your advanced tool tips. And uh, you can see that we have a 3,000 durability on our Paxel, which, you know, almost pretty much double what we have from a regular diamond pickaxe. So, with just a little bit of obsidian, what did we use? Uh, six, seven pieces of obsidian? We just made a crazy tool. And we can just go get some more obsidian links super easy. Like, it's just, that's how nice that is. So, I mean, I definitely recommend doing that for sure. Overcoming your enemies. A lot of those are unlo still locked at the moment. But here we go. We can go ahead and start working ourselves into getting in some immersive engineering but unfortunately i don't have a lot of the stuff so i'll grab a lot of that between episodes um i don't know if i can make this backpack yet it's probably going to require some kind of leather and i don't really have any leather unless i can convert leather yeah it doesn't look like you can actually convert like rotten flesh into leather in this one um Probably a lot later on down the road. We don't have any cows on the island. Oh my gosh, this is one of the ones that has the cool looking trees. Oh, dude. I love those trees. Like, they grow so differently. They actually look really nice. I'm not going to lie. So what we could do is we could... Oh, oh well, there's, there's a cow. We got a cow now. Do we have more than one? We do! Alright, so I need to start moving these guys over. We need to start setting up a farm. I think that's going to be our plan. Yeah, I think that's going to be our plan. I'm probably not going to be able to get to that today. Um, and I don't know if we can make a lead. I don't think I have any... I can just kind of bring them over. I think I can just grow some wheat real fast. Um, in fact, I think... Can't you... Oh, not with that one. Can you with the other one? I can't remember if you could, um... 
I thought there was one. It might have just been the atomic disassembler where you could right click and it would also do a three by three auto tilling of an area for you. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek real fast things out. It wants us to get seeds, carrots, and potatoes. Well, I don't know about the carrots, but I can do the other. Plus, fishing is kind of time-consuming in a sense, so kind of doing that's going to take a little bit. I did spend a little bit of time, got a couple fish, I didn't get a whole bunch. So there we go, we got that. Oh, there we go, nice, very nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear out a very small little area right here. Now, what I'm going to check out real quick too is, see, we should, I think, have... Oh, we don't have actually additions. Oh, well, that's saddening. We don't get to play with worms. I like playing with worms. Worms are fun. But no worries. All right, let's just go ahead and till this up a nice little area right here. We're going to put a torch there and there. Um, I don't want nothing too extravagant at the moment. We're just going to place those down. And I did find, actually, a potato from Fred. Fred actually hooked us up with a potato. Nice guy he is. I'm, I'm just gonna throw that out there now. I think, yeah. I think we can actually get the most out of this. And we might even consider making a watering can, which I do believe we have a good number of watering cans. Or maybe not. Okay, we, we do have the ones from Timey Progression Zone. We do have those, which is nice. Um, now this one is a little bit more of a pain in the butt, <laughs> so we'll probably start off with this one, which looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do that real quick like. Watering can, oh yeah, and we get to keep our bucket. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Automaton. I know we <laughs> got a, we got a little. Oh my gosh, this thing looks, looks like it's worked pretty good. Oh my, oh my geez. Nice, tiny progressions is awesome. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Automaton. If you guys did, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. Uh, let's me know you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, all that good stuff. And if you guys want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button doing so will um, pretty much notify you guys as well as hitting that little bell next to the subscribe button I think notifies you even more like more better <laughs> if that's the way you want to go about saying it um, but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed we'll be back in the next episode um, and don't forget I stream pretty much just about every night so if you guys want to come hang out um, and want to see some more Minecraft or other games from me you guys can always come out and uh, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash only Bentley. Links, awesome links down below in the description. Be sure to always check those out so you guys will be able to, you know, stay in touch with me a little bit more. You know, that's a good way of doing it. There's a lot of awesome links down there that let you do that. So I'm going to do a little bit of firming. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.